Hello and welcome to your 29th Minecraft Forge modding tutorial for Minecraft 1.4.7. This is SciGuy1121 and let's go ahead and get started. So, it's been a long time since I made one of these and I know that and I'm sorry. Um, I wanted to try to not waver too much and work on stuff other than uh, the tree tutorials, but I just had a large number of issues with those. Um, I'm the first person to create a video tutorial on how to add trees and forge, and it's very complicated. So, anyway, um, I wanted to get a tutorial out, but I couldn't do the tree tutorials, so as you have probably read in the title, I'm going to talk to you about how to add a potion effect to a custom item. Now, I've already gone and made this item, um, this food, always edible. Uh, for those of you who don't know, obviously, this dot set always edible is the code. Um, but to add the potion effect, it's really, really easy. Just one line of code. This dot set. Nah. Um, sorry, that popped up and it completely messed up the um, auto fill in in Eclipse. Dot set potion effect. And it has four parameters. The first one is the potion ID. So we're going to say potion dot regeneration. Um, I'm going to add regeneration dot ID. Um, and the second one here is going to be the duration. So this, um, I'm not quite sure what the number represents. However, I know if you were to set it to say 500, it would be uh, about eight and a half minutes. Um, a little bit less than that, I think. I'm just going to set this to 500 um, for now. And then amplifier. So obviously this is going to be how much it affects the um, potion, I'm going to set this to 5, so it'll be incredibly regenerative. And then at the end you have the probability of the effect happening. You might not always want this to affect your player. Um, for example, if you had um, in the vanilla game the zombie flesh, that has a high probability, but it doesn't always affect the player. So I'm going to set this to 1.0f because I want it to always affect the player, and that is actually the end of the code. Now if we go ahead and test this, And I'm not going to go into full screen so that my video will compress faster and I can upload it faster. Oh. Um, I had actually been testing around with that and I don't want to use that world because, yes, I want to continue loading. Okay. Um, so let's find a good tall tree. Okay. I'm going to give myself the food and set slash game mode zero, eat the food, um, and you'll see that it has set our regeneration to eight minutes and 20 seconds, I think it was. Um, so 500 is quite a bit. Uh, you can mess around with that number all you want. And if I jump off here, you'll see it fills up incredibly quickly. Um, I'm already healed after that fall, and it was quite a fall. Um, it took away more than half of my bar, and within an instant I was healed. So, an amplifier of 5 is quite a bit too. So that's going to be the end of this tutorial. Um, in the next tutorial, I'm not really sure what I'm going to talk to you about. I want to get the tree tutorials um, back up again, but again, I've had a large number of difficulties with those. So, thank you for watching, don't forget to subscribe for more, and I will see you next time. Bye.